Next, let's welcome Johnny Wu, who will show us several magic tricks. I'm going to show you one magic trick, but now first I'll have one volunteer, but I need a male volunteer that has a pocket in front of his shirt. So, if anyone want to come up? Any volunteer? Do you have a pocket on the front of the dress shirt? You have a pocket? You do, right? Can I see you come up? Can you? Oh, thank you. What's your name? Hayden. Hayden? Yes. Alright, can, can we give you a round of applause? I'm actually going to do the act how I got into uh, Magic Castle in Hollywood, and this is the trick I, how I got into Magic Castle. Okay, so at first I took out the deck and I shuffled. You think I'm being sure, uh, fair while I'm shuffling? Yes. I'm being fair? Yes. Yeah, but that's not what my friend said. <laughs> my friend was like, yeah, when magicians shuffle, it's never fair. They, they always cheat, just like my ex-girlfriend. And then he was like really, really mad about it. So I was like, you know what? I'll let you shuffle. So I give him a deck. Can you just shuffle it for Yeah, just shuffle any way you want. To make sure to make sure I'm not cheating or anything. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay? I just give it a couple cuts, mix it up. Alright. Now if I tell you to pick any card, but that also be cheating because I'm holding a card, and my friend will also be really pissed about it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let you choose one card. Any card you want, you can look at the face. Any card you want, just take it out. Any card you want. Do I have to show you? Yeah, show everyone. You can show me too, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't want to show me. Okay, so just pick one? Just take out take out one and any one you want. You can, you can look at the face if you want to choose a specific card. Okay. Okay, okay. and then? And then? Three. No. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want to show me? Okay. All right, you have a file of card, okay? And it's okay to show me because I'm not going to guess the card. What I'm going to do, uh -huh. I'm going to ask you to stick the card halfway into the deck. So just stick it halfway, halfway in. So he stick the card halfway in right there, right? right? Now what I'm going to do, I don't want you cheating, okay? So I want you to push it in yourself. Just push it in. Okay, and right after you push it in, I want you to shuffle it. Just give it a double, a, another shuffle. Okay? Okay, all right, thank you. Okay. All right, um, can I have you check the box to make sure there's like nothing wrong with the box, so there's like opening, or like there's like strange mirror or smoke or anything weird in there. Nothing inside, right? No. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to put the deck you shuffled into the box, okay? Yes. Now let me frame it. He picked a card, uh, any card he want. He shuffled the deck before, and then he stick the card in himself. Right after he shuffled, uh, right after he stick it in, he shuffled the cards. And now it's in the box that he checked. Okay, so I'm just going to put the box in his pocket. Okay, wait, just I want to make sure it's close, right? Can you see it? Yeah. It's close, yeah, right? It's close. All right, so I'm just going to put it there. All right, so I don't want to touch it. Okay. All right, I'm going to tell you a story. Anyone know what a pick pocket is? Paso. Okay, they <coughs> there's different. There's a different level between a good pickpocket and a bad pickpocket, okay? The bad pickpocket, all they do, they walk to you, they bump you, and then they take your wallet, okay? They take your wallet, and then maybe after 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you realize, oh, my wallet is gone. And then maybe you can call the police or anything, and then they can retrace your credit card and then catch the pickpocket guy. 
but that's a bad one, okay? The good one, they're so good that their fingers are so sensitive. When they put their finger in your wallet, they can feel the difference between your library card and your Visa card or your American Express card <laughs> and your cash. So they take the cash, they take the Visa card, and then they left and they leave the library card for you. So. <laughs> so, and after maybe one or two days, you want to use your credit card to buy something and then you realize, oh, it's gone. And by that time, you already took all your money and stuff and then you're already broke. Right, so right now I'm going to demonstrate how a good pickpocket is going to pick up your cash and make, make sure you don't, you don't feel the... Um, so after they take all the cash, the wallet will still always be closed. Okay, so that's what I'm going to demonstrate. Can you come over here? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick my hand into your pocket. On the count of three, I'm going to take out one card. Remember, the card box is closed, right? There's no way I can take out one card. So I'm going to stick my finger in, I'm going to take out one card, and that's going to be your card. Do you believe it? Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Don't be nervous, okay? You can't be nervous than me. Okay. All right. Excuse me. One. Two, three. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so now we have one card. Okay? One of make sure, can you take out the box? Make sure it's still closed. Is it still closed? Yeah, it's still closed. So there's no there's no way how I can take out a card, right? But this is an amazing card. Ladies and gentlemen, what's your card? Hot five. Five heart. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, five heart. Thank you.